Good afternoon, everyone. This is the time of the year that we reflect on our past year in regards to golf course maintenance. What worked on golf course conditioning? What things can we do better? Or what things can we eliminate? This is a time of the year that we review our golf course maintenance standards, a document that guides us on the various maintenance practices that we do in the golf course each year. For more than 20 years, Uplands Golf Club has used the United States Golf Association Turf Advisory Service. Every three years, they would tour our course and review our current practices and procedures. We would receive a comprehensive report with observations on current practices and make recommendations on how we can improve. One of their recommendations was the development of written formal golf course maintenance standards for Uplands Golf Club. The standards outline the goals and procedures for day-to-day -day operations that would reflect specific needs of our course for our membership. Standards would identify what we would like to happen at each area of the golf course. They should also outline supporting information to achieve these goals for each area, such as necessary maintenance practices, frequencies, resources needed, and the budget to achieve these goals. In 2006, the Board of Directors struck a maintenance standards committee made up of men and women members of the club with a wide variety of golfing handicaps. Key management personnel also served on this committee. The purpose of this committee was to develop a set of rudimentary guidelines that would be used to condition Uplands Golf Course to meet the needs of its membership. It took approximately one year for the committee to review all current practices and procedures currently happening on the course in 20 different areas. The committee then defined new standards for each of these areas. The anatomy of each standard has the name of the area or practice. The maintenance standard, which is a statement that defines the aesthetics and playability of each area, and a variety of supporting information that outlines practices and procedures such as mowing frequencies and mowing heights. The standard also outlines labor requirements, materials needed, and other resources needed to achieve the standard, along with other cultural practices needed to support the standards, such as aeration, vertical mowing, sand top dressing, and fertilizer requirements. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into the development of the golf course maintenance standards. We don't just go out and randomly maintain the golf course. We use our maintenance standards as guiding principles to provide consistent conditions that all our members can enjoy. Happy golfing, everyone.